So you are sleeping soundly at home early in the morning. Uh, somebody comes and knocks at your door. Not, uh, not you open, talking, but did you feel any bizarre situation in your life other than you know this one that we are discussing right now? Any bizarre situation till uh, now? The top of my head. Uh, I can't think of any right now because either there are too many because I can't single one out or my life is just bizarre in general. I don't know. Point out one, right? <laughs> That's so easy. Uh, Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Hi. Hi, is this, uh, I don't know, I know with your surname, I guess, Menon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My name is Vivek. From your full name? I mean, your name. My name is Vivek. Okay, hi, Vivek. Hi. Hi. Yeah. hi. Uh, you're Priya, right? Yes, I am Priya. Okay. Hi, Priya. Nice to meet you. Nice to uh, meet you. Yeah. So, yeah, my name is Vivek, as you already know by now, and uh, I'll be your clapping speaker for the day. Okay. Okay. Good. Great. That was lovely. Okay. So, yeah, the, just a couple of things before we start. Uh, okay. If at all I'm speaking too fast, using any words, phrases, or anything that you don't understand, you please stop me and ask me to explain myself. Oh, sure, okay. sure. I will. I will. I will. Okay. Really. Great. Uh, second thing, please don't call me sir even by accident. My name is no, Vivek. Wouldn't. Even I'm okay. a trainer, so I wouldn't do that. Even I won't feel, you know, good when somebody calls me ma'am, ma'am, something like this. Even okay. I'm an English trainer. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, this is a good opportunity for me to learn as well, I think. So, looking forward to that. It will be a win-win situation for sure. Perfect. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's about it. Uh, if at all I notice something, I will try and tell you, like in terms of sure. feedback, but yeah. I don't think you will be needing it. Uh, yeah. Same Not applies to you. So if you notice something that I'm doing wrong, please feel free to correct me. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. All right. Great. Yeah, so, I think uh, recruit something, you know, someone who is so expert, who ace all the speaking skills, because uh, they need to give a demo and all. So I think okay. from the demo itself, they're going to look everything, you know, in you, like how much okay. you will be putting in yourself to help, you know, people. It's okay. actually aspirants who are learning English, right? So I feel yeah. that. Uh, it wouldn't be, you know, something uh, uh, that you will make mistakes at all. But sometimes occasional slips will happen, slip in a sense yeah. by mistake, you know, you might make mistakes. That's it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, all I wanted to tell you is uh, there is no ego here. So if I am making a mistake, you please point it out. I have no issues there. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Great. Really so, cool. Uh, to a trainer like you. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, let's let's look at it as a friendly conversation rather than a, a training exercise of any sort. Uh, sure. That's what we try and propagate here at Clap and Go anyway. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you are, uh, this is your fifth session, if I'm not mistaken? Exactly. This is my fifth. On okay. Not not okay. fifth, I think. Uh, yeah. I booked one session, but I couldn't, you know, attend because of personal reason. So, okay, okay. that's. Yeah. Well, as for the list, yeah, it's like fifth, but it's my fourth. Okay. Uh, the only reason I'm asking is uh, I want to make sure that we have the same session document. So could you tell me which one you have? So it was about some uh, some bizarre situation. Uh, unexpected challenges, I hope. Unexpected challenges and all. All right. Yeah. By police, like yeah. what would you do? Ha, yeah, exactly. Because uh, what happens generally is if you tend to miss a session, we try and compensate for that session. So I might get the fifth one and you might get the fourth one. So I just wanted to... Yeah avoid that gap okay we have the same one don't worry okay. uh so can we discuss on that is that okay uh yeah if we can yeah sure go ahead please all right great okay so yeah basically it is on uh quite an unexpected situation which i, I hope doesn't I, come true before we get started uh vivek yeah. i just want to ask a few questions like what do you do okay uh so i am a chartered accountant basically i'm a qualified oh. ca okay good <laughs> So yeah, uh, Monday to Friday, I have a finance manager uh, job in this organization. And Saturdays and Sundays, I take sessions here, uh, if someone is kind enough to book my sessions. So yeah, that's that's what I do. It really, really, people would love to actually, because I think uh, there are more people in India who would be learning English and will surely, you know, uh, will have an opportunity you know, to learn from this platform for sure, because uh, I've seen Camly, which is expensive. So something yeah. went to that you have, I mean, 
camp clapping who has made this so yeah. it's really good people would surely find it great and uh, would join your classes for sure oh i definitely hope so uh cambly another issue with cambly i mean it's not an issue as such but um because of the uh, foreign speakers you know the accent tends to be an issue for the beginner uh, learners at times that's really yeah. true i completely agree with your point because see yeah. at the starting if they are beginner if somebody you know sits in an advanced level class they feel yeah. like what's happening what is going on yeah so they so, can't what the speaker is trying to explain so exactly. probably there will be a gap between them again that void couldn't be filled but if we yeah. talk with directly our indian speakers because we have a indian english pronunciation similar exactly so yeah yeah so even if you take a small example if we call uh, the word m o b i l e so that's we call it as mobile mobile and brits call it as mobile, mobile. but <laughs> imagine if, they, if if you ask them they might call it as mobile yeah so mobile phone Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of difference so even the regions in uk if you go different regions in uk or even in london you get to see different accents so people from cambly or also you know from different areas different parts yeah. of the world so there are different accents going on so if they're not booking the session with the same train or again they might face some difficulty but indians i don't feel that by regions we are going to have some different accents so you are sleeping soundly at home early in the morning uh, somebody comes and knocks at your door no uh, not you open... talking but did you feel any bizarre situation in your life other than you know this one that we are discussing right now any bizarre situation till now uh, the top of my head uh, i can't think of any right now because either there are too many because i can't single one out or my life is just bizarre in general i don't know <laughs> point out one right <laughs> that's so easy uh, Why don't you tell me one? Then I'll I, meanwhile I'll try and think of one. My bizarre situation is like uh, when my tutor, like uh, my English teacher itself, when I was in school. So I did my homework, but accidentally, what happened is my friend was sitting beside me. I was so indulged in the class that I did not even see what she's doing with my homework. So okay. she swapped her book with mine. So. Okay. i was literally so much into it that i was literally you know uh, feeling the class i was into the class so I, uh, suddenly what she told is like i'm going to check all your homeworks so she knows me that uh, like i'm a very bright student in the class so first she came to me and she asked my homework i was so you know happy to you know hand it over my homework to her and actually she did not even check the first page the name and all name she mm-hmm. checked the work she did she did say that i did not expect this from you i was thinking like what happened what happened uh, like why is she saying like this so okay. then i thought okay fine something happened and accidentally like uh, not accidentally it was not accident it was intentional by her that she you know hit my knuckles so it yeah so mm. i was totally shocked that don't even imagine like what would happen what did i do like is it a big mistake that i did later you you know she explained that you did not do the homework i could not even explain to her because she's elder to me right she's so much elder to me i can't i couldn't say that i did the work and we were so young that time okay. that we could, you know uh, you know uh, explain our things and all so later my friend apologized me saying that uh, i sorry i didn't mean that this would really happen i thought that first she would uh, ask my book or someone else and then she would come to you later but i didn't mean that this would really happen i was so i'm really sorry i'm really sorry even now when she calls me she apologizes for the same thing so that was okay. really a bad situation i didn't even expect that this would happen to me so okay. seriously uh fine uh, i don't know if it qualifies in quite the same category but uh, something strange which happened with me uh when i was giving my exams for ca final uh the day of one of the papers so we have eight papers in ca final so it's divided into two groups okay. and uh, how we had planned it is straight after exams i think we left a two day gap and then we had planned to take a trip so it's sort of like a vacation with family kinds and what happened was the fifth paper so second group first paper the day of that paper was the day they uh, declared the babri masjid verdict if you remember it happened a couple of years ago okay so that paper got cancelled so they postponed the paper like on that uh, midnight of the day before the exam so basically the, the same day very early in the morning 
So oh. I don't know if you're familiar with any CA students. We completely shut ourselves off from the outside world when we are studying, especially when it's exam time. So no mobile phone, no television, nothing. I mean, my family was around. So I had no clue that the exam got canceled. I reached the center as, as usual. And I'm looking around and there is literally nobody there. Oh. And for five, 10 minutes, I'm just standing there. Nobody, nobody has a clue what's going on. Okay. And then I go to the security guard and security guard is like, so we're just staring at each other for 10 seconds. And he's like, Kya? and I'm like, Bhaiya, exam. And he's like, Aaj kuch exam, exam nahi hai, ghar pe jao. <laughs> and I'm like, this is, the, this is a CA final exam. Okay. I mean, I don't know the, the level yeah, of tension that no you problem. feel before an exam is like your hands literally shake. And he's like, ghar pe jao. And I'm just standing there like he's somebody even playing a prank with me. He's like not believing the man who's saying like that because yeah, exactly. so it's an exam, right? You can't, you know, uh, until unless it's justified, until unless it's true, we, we, yeah. cannot, uh, we cannot decide whether it's true or untrue, right? So exactly. We, so, so, yeah. So that, that, was, that was quite a scary situation, especially because as I told you, you know, the paper was invariably going to get postponed and yeah. we had a trip planned a couple of days, like right after my exam. So very nervy situation. Thankfully, uh, the exam was rescheduled to the day of the trip. And for some, I don't know, uh, luck or something, we had scheduled the flight for later in the evening. So oh, okay. just, just about made it like right after the exam, they picked me up from the center and we went straight to the airport. That's really good, right? Uh, yeah, I got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I got very lucky. You went on a tour. That's really good. Yeah. So that was just before Corona, actually. So that was the last trip we had as a family before the whole Corona circus began. You went with the family or it was with your friends? No, no, I, I went with my family. I stayed with my family, actually. So we went together. Yeah, yeah so. even people, if they, they stay with their family, they prefer sometimes even friends, right? You know, it's yeah. another experience. This one is definitely you know, some, sometimes we feel like family is important. And I think we could enjoy more with our family itself. Friends, yeah, it's another experience too. So I love, you know, almost going even to the movies or any other places. I prefer only my family. Even for the childhood, even after getting married, even after having kids and all. So I feel like still I need to, you know, go with my family itself. Still I have friends, close friends and all. They call me, but I don't prefer. I would prefer okay. No, so for me, I've kept it pretty simple. Uh, Monday to Friday as it is, no plans because of work. Uh, then Saturday, Sunday, two days are there, one with friends, one with family. So, I mean, pretty uh, straightforward so far. I think we might uh, end. Yeah, we uh, have about five we minutes. Yeah. Yeah, Anyways, have... pretty nice, uh, Vivek. Uh, so yeah. good to speak. And uh, it, it was like I was actually sharing my memories and all. It's really great. The session went okay. well. I really okay. like it. Hope so. I, I might get glad. to again meet you and talk with you. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm available on weekends, obviously. Uh, timings are very subjective uh, because it depends on work. So, okay. yeah, feel free. But uh, of course, we would encourage that you speak to many different people as possible. I mean, today we haven't had much uh, by way of feedback to give you, but uh, we also focus and stress on, you know, confidence building to a large extent. So the fact that you are there speaking very openly with a smile on your face gives uh -huh. me positive feedback. So that that that's good for me. Uh, yeah. yeah, please be the same. I don't think you need much uh, by way of uh, help as such. I mean, if I can put it so crudely. Yeah. So please uh, continue being the same confident, uh, happy, vocal person that you are. Thank and, you. And uh, hopefully we can meet again. I had a great yeah. session. I hope you did too. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you for the session. I really loved it. It was great. As I said, I changed my moments and all with you. So it's really good. That's Thank you. Great. Yeah, even I had fun. So yeah, have a nice weekend and uh, hopefully see you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Priya. Okay. So I think Bye. still yeah, there is some time. Yeah, we have about three, four minutes. So if you want, we can it's just. Three, four uh, minutes. I I was thinking like it would be uh, because they said that's like it's going to start at eleven twenty and it's going to end at eleven thirty five. This this was no. This was uh, one. So we have uh, nineteen minutes uh, for the session actually. So thirty nine oh. is when it ends. It's a 19 minute session, I was thinking. Yeah, okay. so the ideally how we schedule it is uh, 15 minutes for the conversation during the session and the oh, last three, four minutes for feedbacks or doubt clearing or something like that. That's if really good. That's good. So I was thinking like if a person books a session for 15 minutes, it would be exactly 15 minutes. No, no, no. So the reason why it has to end, so it will end at 11.39 uh, dot, 
because uh, we have back to back sessions lined up. So I had one just before yours that went from 11 to 11 19. Now I have another one that starts at 11 40. So yeah, that is the reason it will get auto cut. But yeah, uh, there isn't enough time to get into the session uh, per se, but uh, we can just have maybe a couple of minutes of casual conversation. What are you doing right now? Uh, I'm a trainer, so I teach, uh, you know, I train people for IELTS, TOEFL and PT. These are our English language tests. IELTS, yes, yes. I even just take GRE, GMAT and all. So only the verbal part. I'm not, you know, not okay with the math part and all, the aptitude. So I'm, I'm, okay. I, 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 am, I even, te I used to teach that. But even now, I am some, somewhere when I get time, apart from this, if I have time, I, my students ask me, you know, for a couple of sessions. So I even offer that, that session, but I okay. won't say, you know, probably I would love teaching that. So I only love verbal part. So okay. it, uh, it depends on the student and all how we start. So first we diagnose the student. We just uh, check because all, all the skills like listening, reading, writing and speaking equally, everything is important. Not only for the exam, for the, uh, you know, for improving your language. Overall, yes. yeah. so, therefore, so this, I think this mostly helps for our listening skills because I might listen to you and I might pick up some kind of words and all. So uh, in the way I'm improving my listening skills and also my speaking skills because I'm uttering, I'm speaking to you so that both the skills will be in our, again, we check the writing and reading skills as well. So yeah. everything, you know. Package, complete package. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we check everything, like their tone, their pronunciation when it comes to speaking, how they, how, how they enunciate the words. So it's like a different experience. Again, like if you compare the spoken English with IELTS classes, it's like a little different. Different, yeah. Yeah, we focus primarily on, uh, see, main objective is confidence building, okay? Because people may have the theoretical knowledge, uh, their writing and reading skills might be exemplary even. But when you have to, you know, converse with someone face to face, yes. people are scared. So just try and get rid of that, you know, that gap between. Seriously, what I feel is they, they, they feel that they're judged. 